entrance. <laughs> so they sit down for their first date. First words out of his mouth are, Hi, I'm Corey. I'm never getting married. To which Jess replies, Cool, I like the beach. <laughs> but hey, here we are at the beach and these two are getting married. <laughs> that being said, here to speak a little bit on love is a friend of Corey's, Matt Siegel. What I love most about Corey is that he's unapologetically him, always. From the day that I met him to the day he is right now, he has been consistent. He is poor. And then he met Jess, who I don't know if you guys know this as well, is also unapologetically herself. And the love that they have together is pretty astounding. So, a while back, I had this dream of this weird guy. And it was so specific and so clear all the things about him and more like all the things I was kind of hoping for and I wrote it down so it says that he'll be a man with worn hands dark hair dark blue eyes that you're gonna be half man half animal <laughs> again it was the weirdest dream but I'm like it's so specific and he gets it yeah it says he dances with me all the time he sings to me all the time. The man who always likes to be outside because he belongs with dirt and land. <laughs> but it says also that we always laugh together. Most importantly, you love the night, and so do I, and that's when we enjoy the most time together. It also ends with saying, I already love you so much. So anytime we go through a hard time, or anytime you're not feeling sure for whatever reason, you can always pull this out and know that it's guaranteed. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Jess, I guess unlike what you just said to me, I never expected to meet you. You came into my, my life like a wildfire, cleared away all the old growth and the, all the undergrowth and everything and like making way for new stuff to like sprout out and grow and thrive. You saw something in me that no one else has ever seen before, and honestly, there's some days where I'm still not sure what that is, but I love it. Now I have this letter. Now, now I know exactly what it is. You make it real. Everything we do, you make it real. I don't just love you because of the way that you make me feel, and I just don't love you for all the upgrades that you've brought into our life, but I love you truly for you, and you're just truly a remarkable person. You're one of a kind. There is nobody else on this planet that is like this woman right here. And I love it. There's no place on this earth that I would rather be right now than standing right here in front of all of these people with you, making a promise that I'm always going to love you for exactly who you are. And I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> I really am. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Randy, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. <laughs> From the time you were born, you went after what you wanted. You told me that I was a big influence on you, on who you are today, but it's you who influenced me. So I'm super proud of you and the person you grew up to be. Cheers to a lifetime of happiness. Listen, I always looked up to my older sister, one of the most pinnacle people in my life to be who I am and do whatever I want, feel however I want, be original. She stapled that for me by pioneering it. Like she's, look at her dude, she looks like an Egyptian goddess right now, you know what I'm saying? My new brother, love you Corey, and Jess, you already know the deal, and that's all I gotta say. You get it? The deal. Oh, my God. Corey, 
and I both lost our moms early in our 20s. I, at this point, we leaned on each other, and, and I think going through that together, became, we became closer as friends. Um, and this is the point where Corey really started to inspire me. My sister has been someone that I always looked up to. She accomplishes every goal that she sets for herself. But something was always missing. She wasn't that sappy, cuddly Jess that I know now. <laughs> I love how Jess will have an idea and Corey will make it come to life. You're a great team, a beautiful couple. Congratulations to Corey and Jess. Woo! Cheers! First thing I want to say is, of course, this is a huge day for my beautiful daughter, Jessica, and my brand new son-in-law, Corey, but also for my wife, Lisa, and myself. This is our first child getting married, so uh, first time I'm the father of the bride. As you were growing up, you had your approach, you had your ideas of how you were going to go about it, right? And I usually didn't think they were that great. And what would happen is I would stand back and watch and just be amazed because the end results were always super impressive. And we're talking about opening multiple salons, being best of Philly, having interior design featured in magazines around the world. You are so impressive and I'm so proud of you for all the amazing things you achieved. And I don't question you anymore. I don't question you anymore. <laughs>